Good evening and welcome to your News Now Sports. I'm Dave Siseski. Another wet and rainy Friday with a lot of games postponed on the diamond, including the Defiance Bulldogs, who were set to play the Bath Wildcats for the first place in the WBL. Now, although we wait another day for that matchup, we did recently catch up with the Veteran Ball Club, who features nine seniors to discuss their season thus far, as they sit at 14-1 and one currently on an eight-game winning streak. Dante Santafonte has more. We like where we're at. We've got a great nucleus, got great leaders. We have nine seniors, so we're very old, one of the, our oldest teams we've had. Uh, and seven of, the, seven of those nine guys start. So we've had some years with eight to nine, ten seniors, but never that many starters. So, uh, you know, that's a, that's a big advantage when you're old. Ohio High School baseball has many storied programs, and the Defiance Bulldogs are certainly one of them. After a heartbreaking loss at Wapakoneta early in the season, the Dogs have won eight straight behind solid offense. David Jimenez, uh, he was a second-team All-State guy. He was player of the year in the WBL in the district last year. He's our leadoff guy. He's having another good year. Um, you know, and then uh, in our two holes, another senior, Jackson Walters, our DH. He's a left-handed hitter. He's once a guy. He's, he's got the guy that takes, his, takes pitches, lets DJ have a chance to run. Braden Shaw's back. He's a second-team All-Ohio as a sophomore pitcher. Uh, he's in our three hole. Defiance is powered by their pitching, featuring a pair that will be taking their talents to the college level. Aiden Kiesling and, and David Jimenez both have thrown no hitters uh, thus far. And, D and Braden Shaw is uh, our third pitcher, and I wouldn't say it in that order. Braden's uh, committed to go to Akron. Uh, Aiden is committed to go play, pitch at Finley. And it really starts with those three. The season's been going uh, really good so far. That one wall puck game got us, but. Uh, it's been a, been a great uh, great season so far. Coach held uh, practices. I mean, every day it's uh, come come uh, to practice, work hard. Uh, you have to do little things right, and if you do little things right, you just got to play to find some baseball, and you end up doing pretty good. With the guys we have this year, we have so much kind of space to grow and so much success that's possible. So, uh, you know, I think it's going to take a lot of focus each and every day, uh, one pitch at a time, one out at a time. Defiance is searching for their first state title since 2016. With their great start to the regular season, all signs are pointing to them to get to Akron this June and reach the state final four. When we score four more runs over the last 25 years, we've won 95% of our games. So, uh, but when you face good pitching, four runs is a, a lot. So, you know, last year we had a great team. We got to be one nothing. Our pitcher threw a one hitter, and we got to be one nothing. So that's baseball. So to get to get to the final four and get to Akron, uh, and you got to be good, but you also get some breaks. Reporting from the Defiance Baseball and Softball Complex, I'm Dante Cetafonte, Your News Now Sports.